hey, Nicole, how you doing? Hey, I didn't know you were getting married. Congratulations. Wow, that is such amazing, huge, giant news. Fantastic. Congratulations. I hope your day turns out wonderfully. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look now. We've got your post up right here. Okay, now I have some comments, though, that are continued from last week's comments. As a matter of fact, you know what I think I might? I might download the PDF. I think that will probably be smart. Let's go back and... This way we can get a little bit of a better look. So this will just take one second, Nicole. Sorry about this. I should have had this done before I started. I know I say, I say that every week and I always forget to do it. Okay, so one of the things I'm noticing is the setup. So right now, in order to print this as a booklet, um, I, I'm, I'm not real sure how or what your plan is or how you intend on having this printed as <clears throat> two pages with uh, two, I'm sorry, print a duplex, which is print on both sides and have it assembled so that it, it, it works like a booklet. Typically what we do is we, we, we design in what is called reader spreads and that would entail clicking the facing pages option on your on your um, uh, your setup in your setup dialog box and what that's going to do is that's going to pull the uh, first the front cover away from the spreads as well as the back cover so when the pages are imposed they will spread together and the rest are designed in spreads. Now you've got the rest designed in spreads. So theoretically, I think what you could do is have this page printed duplex with this page. Then, uh, boy, you know, I, I'm not real sure how that's going to work. I, I don't see page numbers. But remember, I mean, it's really important that this works out. And, and it, it's, it's not likely that you're going to print your own work in your design career and assemble your own work but this is just a really great way to learn pre-production techniques and to learn how pages are imposed and how booklets are assembled and how the printer the work that printer has to do and which of course will help you as a designer in preparing the work expeditiously for the printer so i think at this point i would recommend taking a good close look at that uh, announcement that how to let's go jump over to the announcements area and it, i think I, it was titled how to set up your booklet file I, I don't remember what it was called but i'll well here it is right here um how to set up your booklet final project so so take a look at that As a matter of fact take a look at everything from well actually all of the, the tutorials are in here are really super valuable but definitely definitely want to take a look at at this and i just want to make sure you understand now please understand also that this book is required to be printed for your final submission um, a printed and photographed. So I need to see those spreads in that case. So that's really, really very, very important. Okay, I think the cover, front and back cover look good. So you've got this kind of frame. And I want to talk about that because we, when we go to other areas, you've just got a single black frame. Here you've got a, a, a black frame inside a white frame. And then back here, you've got this double black frame. So get consistent on your presentation of the frames and make sure that you stick with it. Okay, I um, want to talk about some images before I get into type. Th these look good, really, really equalizes that page. It redistributes the visual weight. Everything here looks great, except this image right here is pushed over to the right a little bit. Let's get that centered in, in with the rest of these. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the type. I think this is a good page. I, you know, your typesetting is, is, it's good. It's good. I mean, there's, there's no question you're paying attention. It's, you're, you're excellent here at setting the type. So uh, good job on your old style figures. That's fantastic. Uh, that's just fantastic. I mean, keep, keep that in mind while working forward in typography. Also remember your small caps, which I'm looking for right now. Um, let me zoom in a little bit here. I want to get a good close look at your type. Okay, uh, you might consider adjusting your your justify type, and the reason I say that is because in some areas you do have some unusual spacing right there and right there. That will be noticed by portfolio reviewers and definitely uh, uh, in professional interviewers. Um, I'm sorry, uh, hiring professionals that are interviewing you for a potential job. That will be noticed. Um, so there is, of course, a video in the announcements, and it's how to adjust, where was it? How to justify paragraphs correctly. So you'll, you'll, you'll take a look at that and see some of the settings that are involved with that. So I definitely recommend taking a look at that. Okay. 
yeah, we can we can clearly see. Look how tightly packed this line is. I'm sorry, this line right here. And then look how loose this line is. So yeah, you definitely could use some adjustments therein. Okay, that's a widow. That's a big no-no. You'll get nailed on that definitely 10 times out of 10. Portfolio reviewers and higher professionals love to point out widows and orphans. So definitely it's one of the first things they're going to look for. Oops, it's jumping around like crazy. Okay. Another widow right there. Nice call out, nice call out, excellent. Although I do recommend this. You have that in that pull quote, and I'm really sorry about this jumping around like this, but I noticed that, okay, yeah, right here, here's the pull quote, that's fantastic, but right here in the pull quote, that should be a cap L, because it, 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 there's no ellipsis alluding to the fact that there could possibly be text before that, so definitely want to make sure that's a cap L like it, like it is here. Technically, that's a widow, but that's okay. I mean, you could theoretically widen the uh, type column for this pull quote and get rid of that widow. I would recommend doing so. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, 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 excellent. Looking good, looking good. Let's go to, whoops. Let's go to the next page. Okay, right here, there should there be a period right there after number, number 22? I think in the other, should know, yeah, shouldn't there be a period there? I, I don't know. I'm not familiar with the product. Um, so, so check that. Okay, looking good, looking good. All right, let's zoom back out here a little bit. That's, this page is looking fantastic. Nice work. Now, theoretically, you don't have to use old style figures here, but for consistency, since you're using them in your body copy, you may consider using old style figures here and here. I wouldn't, you don't have to, uh, you don't have to uh, present the, the year in oblique or, or uh, the italic. You don't have to do that. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I would present it as bold. And then this is kind of a weird configuration timing. These all have years, but this doesn't. I can see this because the little back black dress is, um, is is iconic and has been for decades. So that wouldn't need a year, or you could even span the year from the year it was introduced to, you know, 2019. And just just so we get some a little more consistency in here, that's a widow. Okay, this page I wouldn't I I would not center align this any of this except maybe this. But this I mean, if you want to center this these titles, you're okay, but the body copy itself I would definitely left aligned just because you're not center aligned anywhere in the composition, so we might as well. I mean, we've got a good mix of of justified and left aligned, but we don't have any really centered typographic composition. So I would left align that. And this page here, you feel free to dress this up a little bit. I mean, maybe with some image. I don't know. It's not important, but it, it, it will certainly uh, provide a little bit of a, a further a visual engagement. So think about that. Okay, other than that, I think you're looking fantastic. Really good job so far. So if you have any questions, please let me know. But definitely you want to keep in mind, this has got to be printed and photographed for our final submission. So if you have any questions on how to do that or a setup or anything, please let me know. I'll be glad to address. And congratulations on your big day. Um, I, boy, wow, how's this going to work? Are you going to try to get your work submitted before? 
or after your big day? That's that's a big question. I don't know. We'll see. Whatever your preference, I'm fine with. So um, just as long as, as we get this photographed and, and submitted. So, all right. Fantastic. Thank you so much.